Hi, this is Charlotte with PhotoshopLovers.com and this is part two of my series of how to design a website using WordPress with best SEO practices. And as I said before, I'm not going to, um, I'm just going to dive right in. Um, I'm not going to uh, purchase a domain and I'm not going to set up the site on the back end. Um, but I am going to tell you how simple it is. So for example, if you've already purchased your domain and you already have your hosting, um, one of the things that I wanted to mention why I recommend SiteGround um, is because they have something called the cPanel, which has Soft Delicious. Soft Delicious is basically these easy to use um, applications like the content management system these are all the things that you can install and create very easily um, so you would just basically click on this put in like a username and password and voila it automatically sets everything up exactly where it's supposed to be like I said I like simple and easy so um, SiteGround does come with Softalicious um, which is another perk um, for hosting with them. So with that being said, we're going to be using WordPress um, for one of two reasons. First of all, think of WordPress as a Barbie. I'm just using a, this as an analogy. Um, so basically it has all the core structure and the themes and the plugins are the clothes that you put on the Barbie um, to kind of dress it up and make it, um, you know, style it into different um, functionalities. So WordPress already has server side and client side scripting. What server side scripting is things like forms, contact forms, um, check out, um, baskets, you know, like when you have a merchant account and you're able to buy stuff online. Um, it's basically where a person uses a GUI form, which is basically the, the pretty forms and the things that you see online. A, a website would be something of a GUI form. And on the back end, you're basically communicating, let's say the, the website is the visual part of, of, of what your, your um, customers see and they input data and that data gets retrieved from servers. So that's what the server side scripting is. It pulls information from databases, um, you know, and WordPress is good because you don't have to set up databases. You don't have to know SQL, MySQL. You don't know have to know PHP scripting. You don't really have to know any of that. Having a basic knowledge of PHP scripting is good, but it's not really necessary because, like I said, WordPress is already set up like that. Now, client side scripting um, would be stuff like um, the the um, core build up of the um, the page, um, things that you can modify easily that really have nothing to do with the server. Um, that would be things like CSS and HTML. Um, CSS is basically um, a type of code that um, adds a beautification. Um, one example of CSS is that if you wanted to change the um, color of font, you would do that with CSS. Um, if you wanted to um, make the font bigger, um, you could use HTML or CSS. They're kind of one of the same, but they're different. Um, and you could do a little bit of research. I'll give that to you guys for your homework to kind of look that up. But you just need to have a basic knowledge of that, and I'll go over a little bit. If you choose a hosting site, and which I say is very important, um, setting up WordPress will be a lot harder. Then you will have to use something called a WAMP server, um, which is very difficult um, to do if you're just an entrepreneur, you're just an everyday Joe, and you don't know how to build a website at all. 
that's going to be very complicated and difficult. And even me, I've gone to school for graphic and web design, and I find it a little, um, a little bit challenging. So, um, that definitely wouldn't be somewhere where you would want to start off at. Okay. So, um, so yeah, you would just click on this and it would install. So I'm going to be using a, a site that I have had for a while and I've been working on a photo library, but I have been working on other projects. So it's kind of been on the back burn burner. So because I haven't done much with this site, I'm using this for our tutorial today. And so we're going to jump right into it. So with WordPress, once everything is installed, you're going to get a neat little um, dashboard. The dashboard is basically your main area that kind of tells you what's going on. If you have comments on your page where people have posted on your blog, you can communicate with people here. Um, your security, whatever you have set up, and it just depends on what widgets or plugins that you add into your WordPress site. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to change the look and the feel of the website to match what you're, you're aiming for. So um, we're going to start off um, with appearance and we're going to change the theme. Now I've already gone ahead and I've um, picked a theme. And so this is the Paroxysm theme, and and the light means. Uh, well, let's let's just go out and look for one. So how you add a theme? You're gonna click Add New, and you can because um, there's lots of themes, and you'll be looking for days. So you want to narrow it down. You definitely want to have a responsive layout, and. What I like to do is I like to select ones with theme options and you don't want to select too many filters because then you might not get a lot to choose from. So, and this displays all of the um, themes that are responsive and they are also, they have options that you can adjust to. So I have went ahead and chosen this one. And as you can see, this is the preview um, of how it's set up. So we're gonna go back to our theme and you're going to activate it. And then you're going to see how that changes. So this is how it looks currently now. And if you refresh it, now our theme has changed the look and feel of it. And you can pretty much, there's lots of free themes, but I would suggest starting out with using the free themes because they usually have less options and they're easier to customize. Um, but if you want to get into purchasing your themes and getting some little, a little bit more robust themes that you can modify. I would recommend um, buying them from Envato. Um, there is a link on my uh, website at photoshoplovers.com. If you click on the theme forest link, it does help me out. So I really appreciate that. Now I can be completely 100% honest. Not everything I bought from Envato Market has worked and they typically don't like to refund people's money. Um, so you just have to watch out for that before you purchase any themes or any plugins. Um, they sell some really great plugins from Code Canyon. Before you purchase anything, I would click on here, um, read the reviews in the comments. Um, definitely, um, sometimes they don't have a lot of comments, so I definitely read about that. Um, because what Envato loves to do instead of giving people their money back, what they love to do is they just like to boot the coder off of Envato and that gets rid of them all together. And what happens with that is if you go into your downloads, um, 
the download is not available anymore. Like I bought this ultimate retouch panel and action set and it didn't work at all. And I was completely ripped off. I paid $12 for it for something that didn't work. And that's exactly what they do. So be careful of that. I just want to warn you of that. Um, so I don't fully 100% endorse them. Just be careful whenever you purchase things from them. And just re read the reviews. It's kind of like purchase with cautious sight. Um, with that being said, I'm going to switch this back to the theme that we had before. Okay. So we're going to try to get this theme to look, see how all the images are, are um, loading up here. We want to get this theme to look as much like the example here. Because um, one of the reasons why we picked this theme is because of the layout. Now, what a lot of clients don't understand when you're using WordPress, um, you're basically, um, you have a grid and you have to design within that grid. Um, you, it, you can't just have um, a dinosaur over here and a panda bear over here. Um, it's got to fit within these type of grids um, to make it work because think of it kind of like Jenga. Um, well, not really Jenga, but like, how do I explain it? Um, a piece of paper. Um, see how all the squares are divided symmetrically? Everything has got to fit and be in its place. So you're going to add a picture when you add the picture, it's going to end up um, exactly into those measurements. Um, so that's the best way that I can explain it. I know I'm not doing a good job of explaining that, but you see how I've added these pictures and they're exactly to measurement. Um, it's set up that way. It's pre-coded that way. And the only way to change those measurements, um, you can go into the editor and you can change the CSS, the style sheets of this, but I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing. Um, one of the things I like to use is Firebug. Um, it's a plugin um, that you can download into Firefox, and I can show it to you really quickly because I do believe I have it installed. Um, yes, Firebug. So basically what Firebug is, is you can inspect elements of the website and the code will pop up here and it will tell you, um, the, um, identifier in the code. You can modify the text size and then you can copy that code and place it into the editor. But that is a little bit more advanced and I don't really want to get into CSS, CSS or anything like that, but this is all CSS code, okay? And this is your main page here. Where is it? And all of this is, um, this is all of the function. And I would not mess with any of this stuff unless you know what you're doing. So we're just going to mess with the theme and the plugins for now. So now that I've showed you how to change the style of your website, um, we're going to move on to the um, plugins. Now, plugins, basically what they are is they're already pre-programmed. Um, I call them little buggies. That's my little name for them. And you just attach, you just put them, you install them into your WordPress blog. And they perform certain functions. Um, they're either server side or they could be client side 
they're mostly server side scripting and um, they change different aspects of your website and if you don't know which plugins to get you can get the popular ones um, the popular ones will have five stars and then like a million active users you know that's good um, I particularly use the all-in-one SEO pack um, on most of my sites um, and this basically sets up your SEO for you even if you don't have any SEO knowledge it's very helpful because it kind of gives you um, step by step um, you know on how to do that and most one of the things I do love about WordPress is that it is um, there's a lot of self explanation there's a lot of um, it's it's kind of it's kind of hard to not get it right because it's so simple because everything um, is very explanatory and if you don't know something you can google it um, I can say that by setting up your own website and being an entrepreneur you're gonna have to take some initiative because Google stuff read books because um, if you're not willing to pay for a web web designer um, or someone who knows what they're doing um, there are people out there that that can do this stuff and they're not going to help you for free they're going to try to charge you money for it in the same sense that a lawyer is not going to tell you how to win your case for free they're going to try to you know retain you as a client so um, there's going to be very few people that are going to be able to help you with this so you're going to have to take some initiative and um, I have spent many nights um, to tell you the truth I was never taught in a school how to do WordPress this is something I taught myself I was taught in college they teach you the basics they teach you HTML SQL um, basic PHP but it's not enough it, it's not enough to um, how should I say um, it's just very basic I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not enough to be successful in the workplace. It is kind of like <laughs> they teach you the very most basic stuff, and you have to practice at it. Um, you really have to be passionate about what you do, and you have to work at it. It's not easy. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to mention to you. This is something that you're going to have to... Um, spend a lot if you can spend a lot of hours sitting and trying different things that work and what that don't work then I would say by all means continue on but if you get frustrated very easily and you don't have any patience then this isn't going to be for you um, I do want to mention one thing is that I noticed that a lot of um, clients use page builders or um, templates like X theme that have a lot of um, what I call junk code and it really bogs down your site and uh, Google gives a horrible ranking for those types of sites um, you want to have really good lean clean code um, you want to stick with um, templates that say light you want your code as light as possible and if if you um let's let's look at my site here because loading time is crucial loading time is crucial um you have to have a really uh, lean code otherwise you're going to be sitting there spinning and spinning and spinning and when you're sitting there I mean three seconds doesn't seem like a long time five seconds doesn't seem like a long time when you're saying it out loud but if you count to five seconds or ten seconds or even sometimes 30 seconds on really slow performing sites it can be an eternity and the tension span people have an attention span of a squirrel um, if your site doesn't load in three seconds or less they're probably going to click off and go somewhere else. 
So the stuff that I'm telling you is super important. If you're wanting to set up your own website, stay away from page builders. They're horrible for the search engines. You will not get ranked with them. Um, you're going to be sitting out there in no man's land. Um, so definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> My little Pakistan voice. Um, but <laughs> yeah, so um, the plugins, you can also install widgets the same way. You can upload a plugin if you've purchased one. Um, if you want to look for widgets, you can click here and, and look for widgets. Widgets, and let me show you. Widgets are um, something that usually are primarily at the footer. You have footer widgets. And then if you go to my blog, um, let's click on this. And most of the ads aren't showing up here because I have a pop-up blocker on right now. Um, cause I was surfing some places I probably shouldn't. I use no script, um, which is a plugin that you can download through the Chrome store and it basically represses ads. Um, so as you can see, this is a widget where it allows you to um, load uh, 125 by 125 ads. Um, this is a widget that um, allows me to put more advertisements on the side. So there's all different kinds of widgets that you can add. If you're not sure of which widgets are good, you can Google WordPress widgets. Um, best uses or something like that and usually an article will pop up where somebody has already combined a list of some useful WordPress widgets um, you know that are good to use okay so um, there's all different kinds of widgets here um, You can put YouTube, you can put a job board. Um, I'm just going to show you guys what kind of widgets that you can add. Um, just a few here. You can have a widget live editor. See widgets on your page as you edit them. Resize any image and enter a text link to any page or post. Um, you just have to look through them. Um, you've got widget labels, um, you've got schedulers, um, and you can just look through all of these and see which ones are good for you. Um, so moving on, um, so we're going to go back to appearance. We've, we've changed the theme, which is our skin, um, that if you're using Barbie as an analogy, that's what you would... Um, the theme would be her clothes. Um, customize. Customize is normally, now this could be there or not there depending on the theme of how it's designed. But the customize function designs different functionalities within your theme. Okay. And this could change depending on which theme you pick. But in this particular theme, that's where it is. Um, we've done the widgets, the menus. Okay. So, um, the menu, home, cart, image, storage. This is your main menu. Um, an example of a main menu would be here. This is the main menu. It's the top level main menu. Um, and this is how you change the menu in WordPress. Um, so how you do that is you would add to menu. And you would, well, in this instance, I accidentally added all these, but you would check or you can add your own links. You can create your own. Um, here you can add categories um, you can add the categories to your menus um, 
And let me go back. Parents. Themes. No, appearance menus. I wanted to get out of there because I made a mistake. Okay, so you can add a custom link as a menu. So this would be, um, let's just say we wanted to add a contact us page. But instead of adding, um, we can just add the link here. Um, if we had an outside contact page that wasn't within, or if we wanted to um, add a partner page or something like that, or say, for instance, if you had a store or um, a donation, you can add your, well, that's a better example, donations. Um, you can add your PayPal link here to your donate um, store. Um, and then you just add that to the menu and it would add add that. How you get drop down menus, you just drag it to the left and that creates a sub menu item. Okay. And let's see here. Okay, background. You're not gonna save any of that. That was just and this changes the background image um Right now it's plain white, so you can actually change the whole background by selecting an image and uploading it. Um, not all themes give you that option. If the theme doesn't give you that option, you can still add a background image, but like I said, you're going to have to know some CSS knowledge. So the, the best advice I could give to you is to find a template that meets your needs at least 98% and try to configure in your head that you can add plugins to do the rest if you don't know how to code. There are some plugins that change the background as well. Um, I do want to mention to you that all not, not all plugins are compatible with all themes. Sometimes they clash with one another, but there's no 100% um, method. You just have to try the theme out and you have to try different plugins. Sometimes I've had to give up on a theme because I had to have a certain plugin and it was either the theme or the plugin. You have to choose one or the other um, because sometimes they are conflicting and there's really nothing you can do about it. And some plugins are um, conflicting with other plugins. Like I said, you have to play around with it and you have to be willing to experiment and have a lot of patience. So it's not, even me, I have a lot of experience. Sometimes um, I have to play around with stuff, move stuff around and get it to work. Sometimes I spend a lot of time doing that. Um, okay, so we've got the plugins. You can add new users to your account. Um, you can deny users and you can delete them. You can edit their profiles. Um, there's some different tools there for users. Um, currently, right now, I have mine set up to not accept new users because the site, like I said, it's a work in progress. So um, we've gone over the themes. We've gone over customizing. We've gone over widgets. We've gone over menus and the background. And we've also gone over the editor. Remember, the editor which brings you to the core CSS files that you can edit there, but you don't want to touch that area unless you know what you're doing. So, and we've already gone over plugins. So we've completed this whole section here. We've gone over users. Um, you can also modify your profile here. Um, tools. Um, we're gonna skip this part because this is more advanced. And you won't get into this until you start le learning uh, a lot more about WordPress. You won't need this section. Let's go into the settings. This is where you set up your site title. Of course, as mine is the name of my business. Um, it's an image library for designers. You're going to want to set the WordPress address URL and the site URL to your um, domain. And that's particularly for SEO purposes. I like to set that there, but you can leave it blank. 
Um, you can put your email address in there or not. Um, this is anyone can register. Um, usually you would have that checked. Um, but I don't because I don't want anybody subscribing because this is a work in progress. Um, the new user default role, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, but I would suggest subscriber. Um, there are plugins that um, can give different jobs and you can assign them different roles. We'll have to research on that, which one would work best for you. Um, you can set up the date and time format and the language. Um, WordPress is in many different languages, so if you speak a different language, you can set it up in a different language. Um, for example, I know I have a lot of Spanish friends and I'm part Spanish myself. Um, their primary first language is Spanish, so it would probably be more comfortable for them to have it in Spanish. Um, but I speak English, so <laughs> that's my first language. Um, so um, moving on, the writing, and these are the settings within WordPress. Um, the default post category, when you set up your posts, where you want them to go to. Um, you can set up your mail servers and stuff like that. And you can also, well, this is a little bit more advanced. I think we're going to skip over to how to create a page in a post. Um, because you really won't, un what did I just do here? I got click happy. Oh. Okay. Um, you really won't understand, um, the rest of the stuff unless we go over the other two things. Um, media is very easy. You can add new pictures here, but I don't recommend really doing that. Um, I like to add it through my page or my post. So these are all the pages that I have. Um, I created, I went ahead and created a fake page. This is a page, um, and I put, I, this is a page, howdy how, just to be funny. And it's very simple. You just, just type something here. That's all you have to do. Um, you can click on this and you can add a gallery and then it adds the short code. Um, short codes are basically little snippets of code that are very simple and easy that you can just plop anywhere. Um, so I have this plugin called Envira Gallery and it creates little cool galleries for me. Um, it's very simple and easy to use. Um, so I like that. Um, the SEO um, functionality, I really don't like the way that SEO Yoast is set up. So I'm using the other SEO plugin. I, I like I said, this is a work in progress, so I haven't changed this one yet. I don't, I don't like the format that SEO Yoast has um, changed to because it's very unuser friendly. Because like you'll want to click on here and just like buy, buy it, but it's it's free. Um, there's a free and a paid version. Um, when you click on this, you think you can change the settings, but that's not that's. You know, and I, I just can't find um, how to set this up. It's it's very horrible the way they designed this. So I don't really like this. Um, I would suggest using all-in-one SEO because SEO Yoast has pretty much lost their. I don't know. For me, I, I personally can't use this. This is horrible. Because um, it used to be very simple. You could just you know, change everything up here and now it's difficult. But that's just my complaint. <laughs> I'm just ranting. Um, so that's how you add the post and then you press publish. I mean, the, I'm sorry, the page. And pages are different than posts. Pages will normally appear at the top of your menu. Um, these are pages, okay? And I'm showing you my my personal site, Photoshop Lovers, so you could understand. Um, because this site isn't really fully developed yet, and I just feel that my site is a, a better example of 
what it is, but these are the menu items as well. So these are all pages, okay? Now, the difference between pages and posts, posts are what appear on a blog, um, so your page posts, your content. Um, pages are more like home, about us, contact us, log in, sign in, those, those types of things. So on the page, you can set a featured image, but I wouldn't really recommend setting featured images um, for your pages because, like I said, they're going to be tied into the menu and there's really no images here. So that's not really necessary. Okay, so for posts, um, the post can also be se separated into categories. For example, this is a picture site. So I have a category where I put all my fairy models into one category. So all the pictures of fairies would show up in that category. And that makes it easier for searching and, and organization. Um, all my goth models would show up under this category. And it just makes it super easy to find stuff. And I'll show you why. So I've already went ahead and added a second post. Now, of course, this probably should be named, let's name this Joker, um, Goth Goddess. Okay. And this is, <laughs> this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay. And you can set the featured image. You just click on here. I'm going to reset it so you can see it. So normally you would upload him, okay? But I've already done that. So we're going to um, add him from our media library. And you're going to want to name your files um, for keywords for the search engine, goth, whatever. You can use certain keywords. And then you want to just, I usually just copy and paste and just put it down. You can put a description, um, Joker, um, photography, whatever you want to put there. And then you set the featured image and it shows here. Um, you can pen it too to pen interest, <laughs> but um, we're not talking about pen interest right now. I go on so many tangents. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so you will update that. And then I'm going to show you the result. Okay. So now if we refresh this, it says Joker, Goth, Goddess, and Fairy. This is the title of our, um, this is the title of our, um, what you may call it. I'm so tired. I'm sorry. I need to drink some coffee. This is the title of our, um, image here and as you can see when you click on it it pops up and normally because we're selling these images we're for this site is for a photographer when you take pictures you can upload it categorize it and then sell the pictures under different categorizations so there would usually be a button where they can buy people can leave comments and feedback um, so it's pretty useful um, so we can let's go back to the theme so you can see how this the way that I'm creating it is starting to look like the actual um, example template. This is the original example template and see I have two pictures here. We're trying to make it look exactly like the template as we can but not like Exactly. <laughs> We're trying to put our own style on the same theme, pretty much. That's basically what WordPressing is um, in a nutshell. And so the only thing that I noticed was that um, the kind of thing that just didn't settle well with me, the pictures and the faces aren't really showing up, and that can be adjusted 
um, by either making the picture a little bit smaller um, so that it shows up better or um, you can adjust it with CSS. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. Excuse me. So, the next thing that I want to go to. So, we've learned about pages. We've learned about posts. And let me go back to post. Okay. Actually, that's a very good place to be. Let me show you. Okay. So, here it shows the author, the category, and then you want to put tags here. And then the comments show up how many comments have been made on that particular item. The date is published. Um, if this is a good SEO, we'll have a green light. And that's one of the things I like about SEO Yoast, but sometimes it has bugs, so it doesn't work anyways. So, whatever. Um, so I, I wanted to show you how to get the tags. Um, tags are good if someone's searching your website, they can easily find stuff. So you want to add, you know, keyword tags here. Well, I shouldn't say keywords, tags, because um, we don't want to get those confused. So it's Joker, Goth, um, Dark, Batman, whatever. I mean, I'm just, I'm just making up stuff. And then you can update this. And usually um, with the keywords, there will be a section here, but SEO, um, Yoast SEO has changed the way the whole um, functionality of this. So I don't, I don't even know how to work this. Um, so I will be... Um, I will be um, installing the all-in-one SEO because it's a lot easier. And usually, um, the all-in-one SEO Yoast has something like this where you can add your keywords. So you can add, I usually use the tags are the same as the keywords. Um, but most importantly, before I write an article or do something, I usually use the keyword planner and I usually tend to stick to the keywords that are low competition. Um, because you want to show up higher in the search rankings. You don't want to be lost in a sea of nothingness with um, keywords that um, you're just never going to rank for because they have too much competition. So it's really important, those two things. Um, you can make this public or you can make it private. You can make it password protected. Um, I'm going to say that a lot of stuff that you can do with WordPress lays heavily upon plugins and the theme that you use. But like I said, if you're starting out, use things sparingly, okay? Um, just try something simple at first and then, you know, work your way up to uh, harder stuff. Um, so let me go back to the settings so I can now explain the rest of the stuff to you now that you understand posts and pages. Okay. So I have my website set up so that it displays my latest posts. Okay. So these are my posts. So if I have it set up with just a random home page, like um, I'll show you on my graph. This is another website I've designed. This is a custom home page that um, it, my blog is separate. So you see my design blog is here. And it does not display um, my posts. Now, my Photoshop lovers, um, the main page does display um, my posts. So it also depends on what your website is being used for, how it's being used for. Before you start any type of website or WordPress building, um, what I like to do is I like to write down what I need, what I want to accomplish. Do I need a form? Um, do I need um, a gallery? All these things you need to 
map it out and organize and figure out how you're going to get all this stuff um, together before you even start on your project. Um, because you, you can't just throw stuff together. You have to um, make a plan. Um, so what I normally do is I write out everything I want to accomplish. And I'm writing on a piece of paper right now. Um, I decide what colors I want to use. Um, the look and the feel. Um, what what the site's ultimate accomplish or what its purpose is. Um, I write all this stuff down and what do I need to accomplish it. And I also tie in all of the SEO factors. A list of things that I need to um, definitely have to stay within um, the Google algorithms and make sure that I'm complying. Um, another thing I want to mention is that um, sometimes Google will put you down on the rankings, but in other times they might completely blacklist you, um, which means you won't, you'll be like banned from the search engine. So, um, all this stuff I'm telling you is very important. You need to stick to the guidelines, not just for, you know, ranking in Google, but to keep your investment, um, from being completely abolished because if you get blacklisted by Google you're gonna have to start all over again and like I said in the first video your domain name um, one of the things that's heavily weighted is how long you've had that domain so it's very important that you don't break the rules um, don't if someone tells you that you can rank overnight number one in Google I can 100% assure you that it's um, doing things very illegal and black hat way. So just want to point that out there. Um, so let's continue here. So oh, I wasn't finished here. Okay, so reading. I don't know why it's called reading, but it is. But this is the way your page displays. You can also do... You can also choose a front page. You can create a special front page. Um, you can also set how many pages your blog post shows. Um, syndication feeds, which I don't really think that anyone uses RSS anymore. Um, that's pretty like 2006. <laughs> and you can also request that the search engines don't index your site. And one of the reasons why you would do that is if you're a work in progress or um, there's something that you're working on and you just don't want Google to see it yet, you don't want them to start ranking you, then you can just check that box. Discussion. Um, this is comments. Um, you can restrict. You can set this all up. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just basically reading and unchecking and checking the boxes. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because we were crunched for time. Um, but it's basically self-explanatory. Just read it, check the boxes. Comments must be manually approved, yes or no. You can add um, different words here that you don't want. And here you can, um, if you can hold a comment if the user is putting links, you can put that they can't put any links because a lot of people who comment with links are just spammers. They're trying to get link backs. And that's the type of black hat SEO I'm talking about. That never works. And I hate people who do that. It, it really irks my nerve. Um, let's see here. Media. You can set the image sizes to how they upload. I But I wouldn't mess with that. Permalinks. Okay, because this is a photography site where I upload images, the dates are very important. So I have mine set to day and name. Um, so it puts the calendar year and the date. So that's just important for me because um, sometimes you can search 
for the year that the photo was taken it makes it a lot easier um, but most of the time you would use post name usually um, like I said these options are here because you have to decide um, how you're going to set that up pirate forms are um, the pirate forms come with this particular theme um, so they have some options that you can set up here um, but we're gonna go through that um, you I mean it's because this is very specific to this theme you're not going to encounter this on every single um, site that you see or a theme that you get Optimus is another theme option um, this is not a typical um, um, this is not something that you would normally see this is exclusive to this theme or a plugin that I have in um, so I have a plugin called limit login attempts so if someone tries to um, like log in to my site you know like there's basically there's a password um, cracker called Abel and Cain and a lot of hackers that's what they do they use these password crackers to crack your password and they hack your site so security is a very important thing you definitely want to have some type of plug-in for um, I have word friends that's kind of like my antivirus for my um, for my WordPress site so I'm gonna go back to the dashboard and that's pretty much it I've gone through all of the options it's as simple as adding a theme and you can add plugins and you can change the functionality of your site um, I wanted to show you another thing Photoshop lovers this is um, a plugin I use to customize my login theme normally um, this would just say WordPress up here it would be all WordPress branded um, but I've changed the way that my website is so it's branded with my logo and my style so I have these cute little whales in the background which I thought you know is very graphic designy um, so yeah now the and I don't know if I mentioned this but WordPress is a really great resource to have because anybody can be a web designer in minutes you just saw that I mean if you're not super um, I mean if you're not super picky about where things are placed you could literally upload a theme put your content in and start blogging just immediately you really don't need any type of coding skills it's very simple um, in my next video I'm gonna show you how to optimize images um, using Photoshop and I'm gonna show you um, some other ways to make your site run a little better um, there's a plugin that smushes your images and what I mean by smushes it smushes it down to the tiniest bit um, and it preloads them so that way your website runs a lot faster um, I'm going to show you how to create a logo how to upload it um, and um, a few other things so we're going to continue on this um, and if you have any questions or concerns you know just type them in the comment section below I'd be more than happy to answer any questions as long as they're not too difficult <laughs> And I hope that this video was useful, at least to some, you know, to do a quick overview. Because I've had a lot of people been asking me of how I set up my websites. And as you can see, it's really not that difficult. I'm, anybody pretty much can do it. Um, um, Google is your best friend. Um, anything that I'm having a hard time with or I'm not sure of, I usually do with Google. If you have a hard time with CS and HTML, Firebug from Firefox is a very helpful useful tool um, so this is just a really super quick overview of WordPress 
Um, we're going to get into some more stuff and hopefully we can finish the site together. Um, today I just did some random, um, you know, stuff as examples because I don't have any pictures or any, I don't have anything ready currently right now. So everything that I did was just for demonstration purposes, not meant to be, um, you know, sitting out there on the, the web. And so, yeah. And one of the things I wanted to show you here is that this particular theme, you can sell the pictures and it has this area. I think I missed this part where you can add pricing. Um, you can add the dimensions and the pictures. You can sell the pictures here. All of the settings are here. Um, you can add shipping options. And here's where you would add your payment information. You can use any a number of, of payment options here. Um, and this will set up all of your stuff here. Um, so this is basically just set up to sell images. Um, so, um, that's pretty much it. Um, so if you have any questions, you know, just let me know, comment them. Um, if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and a subscribe because um, I would really appreciate that and make at least one comment. Um, thank you so much. It does really encourage me to make more videos and to help you guys out more. Thanks. You guys have a, a great night.